Bashko time. All the things that you need for Bashko. your home and price is so low. You will never need a loan at Bashko. Tell it at Bashko. Appliances, house with furniture and rugs. Geese and linens and glass and mugs at Bashko. Where you shopping at Bashko. Tell them. Whether they're not or so in the east and the west, Bashko. Them all over, they must be the best at Bashko. Welcome to the Bashko Show. Technically, your second show for 2020, but the first one we actually get to film in 2020. So thank you again for being with us for all of 2019, and welcome to Bashko in 2020. There's a lot coming. There's a lot that's going to be absolutely awesome, but we'll get to that eventually. Later, another episode or so, we'll talk about that. But I need to show you some stuff that you need to see. It's a brand new year. 2020, it's a brand new decade. Not just a brand new year, it's a brand new decade. So it's time to look at some stuff that can help you out. Some fix up, some change up, something maybe you didn't realize we had. Some early thinking for Valentine's. Listen, a lot of people forget January is here, boom, and then Valentine's is on you. Bam, just like that in February. So listen, we're gonna talk about some stuff that can help you for Valentine's. I want to take a little walk around and see what other stuff we have, right? Firstly, we are in a great place, talking again about Valentine's. We are looking at some gift sets. Now, as a man who usually never knows what to buy at all, I love gift sets. Now guys, you will see that there are some 15% off signs on them. This would have been for our end of year into new year celebration that ends on or ended on January 11th. So for those of you who took advantage of that, thank you very much. But you're gonna see those around. They are probably not gonna be applicable when you guys come. Good. So like I was saying, as a guy who usually has no idea what to get someone ever, being a guy, it's kind of our thing, I love bath gift sets for Valentine's and for any, any purpose. They are great. We have some really lovely ones this year, starting 2020 with a bang. Okay, so you have so many options um, depending on maybe your budget, what you want to spend. Maybe you, you oh good, this is like all the same thing. So you have a $900 bath gift set. This is the same orange blossom, has soap, bubble bath, and body lotion. And then you get up a, a size, you get the $1,000 one. And then you get the $1,600 one here. And these are great. These are great ideas. You want to get something, someone, something for someone. You want to get a simple item. You want to get something a bit, a bit nicer. Maybe you know the fragrance they like. Maybe you know they are a lavender person. I mean, lavender is one of those... Can I say one of those timeless scents? Lavenders and the vanillas. These are stuff that will always be around. You know, you'll have some, some new things like, uh, like charcoal. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But um, we have a lot of them for you. And, and the nice thing about using gift sets for a gift, uh, and, and I particularly appreciate it, is that it's not just about the packaging and, and, and the, the items you get, but you always get, or usually get, a carrier, a case, a box, something that you can reuse as a practical idea for your home. And I'm all about that. 2020 is the year of a practicality. Things are going to be practical, things are going to be useful, and people are going to love them. We have lavender and chamomile. Now, that's not tea, that is a fragrance. And let's see what's in this one. I like this. It's almost like a little plant pot that you can use later on. It looks like, or, or maybe like a desk organizer, something for your stuff on your, uh, your, your mantle, your dresser. You can use it for that. It's got shower gel, <laughs> it's got body lotion, bath salts, and bath soap. So, for those of you who've been wondering for a long time, like myself, up to about three months ago, what is bath salt? Um, a lot of people are familiar with a particular bath salt you use to soak, it helps your body relax. Bath salts are similar. They, they, without being foamy bubble bath products, they allow your bath and your, your, your zone, your tub, to be like a spa. They invigorate your bath, they give you that nice scent, that nice aroma, and they really add that spa feel, that luxurious spa feel to your bath. That's what bath salts do. So like a lavender a chamomile bath salt, you just sprinkle it into your tub when the water is nice and warm, and you get that fragrant spa feeling in your tub. Right, carrying on, coconut. Now, living in a tropical, country right we I, I find that we don't take advantage of our own scents enough like we don't really embrace them enough all the time but listen coconut aside from the fact that coconut is trending like like the other things i mentioned before coconut is one of those scents and those lotions and those perfumes that people want they want it it's a very refreshing very invigorating scent very relaxing scent that people like to to use and um so we have this set here it is a coconut bath gift set i like the 
I like the um, the, the basket it's in now, and it's also very good for your skin, okay? If you didn't know, it's a little tidbit. Aside from these very nice, uh, I see a coconut shower gel, coconut body lotion. Coconut oil is actually extremely good for your skin. If you want to be taking care of your facial skin, even for the men, you guys, we have a problem. If you get um, ingrown hairs, you have this as an issue. We can't help it, these things happen. Coconut oil, while it may make you smell like you're going to the beach, is very good for the soreness, like you know, as, a, as an aftershave balm, as a daily moisturizer, put a bit of coconut oil. Very, very, very good for you. Great gift. I love this. I love this. It's it's like a, it's an aluminum wrought iron base wrapped around in, I want to say it looks almost like hemp. Um, it's like a rattan cover. Very, very nice. I can see this at home. Say, I know, okay, you guys, I know you are out there. You are doing the entrepreneur thing. You are having your Airbnbs. You have your guest houses. This is a good look for you. Okay, you put this in your space, you put this right on that, that uh, table when they walk in or as a gift for, the, for, your, for your guests when they come in. This is very, very nice. They are going to take it when they leave. Come back and get some more. Some more advice for you. Coming down, I like this. This is, I want to say this is almost traditional. In that it's pink, it's beautiful, it's pretty. Very Valentine's-ish if you ask me. Sans hearts and flowers, but it's very nice, very, it's almost Easter-ish, which is also coming up eventually, isn't it? So you can use it as like an Easter basket after the fact. Good point, good thing to do. I like that they've made a little sponge, they've actually folded it into the shape of a rose. That's, that's creative packaging, and that's like an extra touch. Pink Magnolia body lotion, shower gel, and bubble bath, and one EVA puff. EVA is the material it's made from. Again, these are great baskets. Now, let's talk about something, because at first, I did not understand what was this whole charcoal thing going up and why were people deciding that they should use what we're supposed to be barbecuing with in skincare products and apparently activated charcoal is extremely good for your skin aside from the, the, the ones that are exfoliants which are very good to get off all your dead skin cells that's what exfoliants are for charcoal enriches the, the actually like helps you keep the moisture the natural moisture of your skin i am using charcoal products now they're also i mean if you see it in toothpaste don't don't freak out charcoal is actually extremely good for whitening of your teeth okay guys more information from omar right there so this is i i would say this is more it, it has that feel of being a man's product because of the, the 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 black and the and the feel but listen if you know someone is interested in those charcoal products this is a great option all right, so this is a charcoal refreshing body wash with an active detox. Okay, that's what it does. Charcoal moisturizing body lotion. Really awesome, awesome, awesome products. So continuing to look at the bath gift sets. We've seen the coconut, we've seen the lavender and, and um, the blueberry lavender, but again, a smaller set. Really nice, guys. It's the same unit, same type of thing, but a nice, a smaller set. So you want to get something nice. And talking about Valentine's, it doesn't just have to be your significant other. There could be the people in your life you want to show some love to. It could be your co-workers, could be your friends, could be some family members. There's no reason not to show love on Valentine's. For instance, I'm going to buy my daughter something for Valentine's Day. What? It's my daughter. I can do that. I should be her first Valentine. You have a problem with it? Come check me. Okay? All right. Good. And for your teachers and for the doctors in your life, these people are great to show some love on Valentine's Day. Listen, let 2020 be a year of practicality and love. Just show some love. Right? Yeah, we get it. Bring it in. Too much? Okay, all right, okay. So, moving on, we have more bath gift sets, and I like this. So it's one pearly shower gel, one body lotion, and one towel, but it's not a traditional towel. It's a, a rougher fabric, you can use it, it's like a loofah. So it's a rougher fabric without being too rough. This would be great for exfoliating your skin as well, okay? Little helpful note on exfoliation. You do not exfoliate your skin daily, not every day. Maybe every other day, maybe every couple of days, because you don't want to be over irritating that top layer of your skin. Uh, we have the coconut gift sets. We have another in the lavender and chamomile. Very nice again. Nice as well. Oh, I like the to and from. I didn't see this on some of the other ones. So you can, you know, a nice simple little to and from right there. Very, very nice. We have the sweet strawberry set. And I'm seeing bubble bath, body lotion, and shower gel. No, I like this. This, uh, it, it almost looks a bit more kiddish or kid-like. It looks fun. It looks... I don't want to say fat. youthful, that's the word I'm looking for. Nice gift for a teenager, maybe a young person. I could maybe get it from my daughter. We'll see, we'll get there. Okay, and we also have it in this again you know, with the kit where you have the, the container, a nice round bath soap. I think it's the same items, just, oh no. This one has body lotion, 
shower gel, bubble bath, lotion, and the bath soap in there. But I like the carrying pouch this comes with. <laughs> you can use that for a lot of stuff there, guys. Coming down the line, uh, we saw this on the front. I think it's a different fragrance. This is Roselle Calyx Body Lotion and Shower Gel Gift Set. Black Tea Smoothing Body Lotion Shower Gel, Relaxing Shower Gel. We see it in some other sizes. This is a, a very earthy. I've never, I, I haven't smelled this fragrance, guys, but the look and feel is like a very earthy, very grounded type of feel, and I get that feel from it. I also like the gift basket it comes with. I like this a lot. These are, that's wood on the side. There's a, 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 a platform in there. And I like this a lot. All right. Um, bubble bath, shower gel, and body lotion again. Guys, there's a, there's a reason why gift sets are so prevalent. They're great gifts. You don't know what to get someone, or you know some fragrances they like. These are great options. This looks very Valentine's y, and I really like the rustic feel of the container it's in. I could see someone using this for like watches or jewelry or things on their, their vanity. Vanity? Dresser? Same thing, right? Their dresser vanity. Pomegranate bath gift set. That is very nice. Now, there's a, a very nice towel in there. Uh, bath salts, shower gel, and body lotion. I'm seeing some more here. This is, there's a lot in this kit. Shower gel, body lotion, body mist, bath salts, and bath soap. And uh, we're gonna look down here quick. We have a few of these down here. So I, I was talking about getting gifts for the ladies, but this is a man's gift set. Traditionally, you know, was what we're saying in here. Very nice. The Marine Series skincare for him, hair and body wash, aftershave lotion, aftershave balm, and a beard brush and a bath bath. This is a nice gift, and you could use this bag for for anything pretty much. And I like this a lot. Um, for you men, I mean, Omar skincare tips again. This is something I've, I'm spending some time learning on. Aftershave lotion and aftershave balm are usually better when you have sensitive skin. Men, we do not want to be using any aftershave products that have alcohol in them because if your skin gets irritated easily, the alcohol will further irritate your skin and prolong the healing process. Bear that in mind. Okay, guys. These are very nice. Uh, we have some more stuff over here. We have another. I like this. It looks like a real garden basket. Real garden basket, lavender and chamomile, relaxing bath gift set. Oh, that's nice. Bubble bath, bath soap, lotion, and the uh, EVA sponge. All right, and then we have a larger pack of the sweet strawberry gift set. Really, really nice, guys. Gift sets are an easy way for that Valentine's thought. Or maybe you miss, hey, listen, we, hey, let's, let's talk the truth. Maybe Christmas catch you unawares and somebody bought you a gift and you did not expect them to buy you a gift and you have no gift for them. Here's a solution. Come here quick and get them. Come down here with me, guys, and we move further along the line. I'm going to make a quick mention of these. Uh, while I don't want to preempt it too, too much, Easter is on its way, guys. You know how fast 2019 went by. It was scary how quickly 2019 went by. If you pay a monthly mortgage, all right, it frightened you how frequently that date rolled around, right? Well, it's coming again, I'm telling you. Easter is also coming, and, and if you have Easter festivities and you have stuff with your family, you have gift baskets you want to make up, these are great options for you guys to use. Now, in the new year, let's say you have some traveling to do. You got some places to go. Or, as we go into a new decade, you have realized that you've been using this same pull-along luggage for the last 10 years. Firstly, I hope you bought it from us and it lasted you 10 years. I'm very impressed. Great stuff. Secondly, shame on you. Come get a new piece of luggage. Right? And I'm going to add a little personal thing, guys. I actually got to go away for New Year's this year. It was very special. Got to see some family I haven't seen in years. Um, and some really awesome people, I got to see them. And what I was very, very happy about as I traveled through the Jamaican airport, out and back in, is, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. I saw this luggage in the airport, and I saw this luggage in the airport, and I saw this luggage in the airport, and I saw, I've come get it, I've come get it. One of the hard shell luggages in the airport. And every time I saw it, I thought to myself, they got it from Bashko, from Bashko, where they shopping at Bashko, tell them at Bashko. Yeah, I really felt good about it. If you are gonna be traveling with it before work, maybe it's out to the country, maybe it's out of the country, come and get yourself some luggage, guys. We have a lot here. We have some very nice pieces. And up here on the top shelf, you're gonna see the ones that are, uh, what would you call it, overhead bin friendly? Overhead bin friendly, so you're flying on an aircraft, you want to make sure that you can carry that piece onto the plane with you. 
we have on the top here you have your overhead bin friendly uh, suitcases now some aircraft will actually allow you to carry this one on the plane with you but generally speaking the smaller ones would be your best bet if you're worried about that you guys if you travel you know that that whole weight limit 22 kilograms or 22.2 kilograms or 50 pounds exact that thing hits really quick you don't have no time to put your clothes and your shoes and then all of a sudden boom especially if you're like some other people who I hear when they travel, they travel with a whole heap of shoes, right? Holy holy for shoes, they, they weigh a lot. Uh, there's a short person that's sometimes on the show with me. Uh, she travels and she can't come back because her suitcase is too heavy. That's fear problem. But anyway, our suitcases are extremely light. They're extremely light. And, and I remember seeing the guy take this off of the carousel in the airport and being amazed. Like, whoa. I mean, I know it light, but take time. I mean, he got yanked it off with the thing, whoosh, and it just came with him. And it occurred to me he probably didn't bring anything back. But no, it's just like the suitcase. It's extremely light, right? Now, I know you guys know that I work out, but this is far easier than it should be. I don't even know. You know what? We actually get a scale one time, and we'll see actually how light these are, so you know what you're working with. Okay, we do sell luggage scales, guys. I ask for them at the, the cash registers in most of our stores. We have a little area where you can get a luggage scale. Very, very nice. Oh, this is the one I saw right there. And it was bashful colors too, so I was very excited. So we have the hard shells. We also have the soft-sided suitcases. Now, one of the things you'll find in the soft-sided suitcases that you won't usually find in the hard shells is expandable space, all right? Let's talk about that for a little bit. Every year we talk about this, so every year I'm gonna spend some time talking about it. Now, the hard shell suitcases, like this one, or not like this one, because this one has expansion. <laughs> this is impressive. All right, generally speaking, the hard shells have just one zip, and that's what you get. But these have a part that can be zipped. Oh, it's the wrong size. I'm sorry, guys. I'll find it. There it is. So you have this part here, and you get like an extra, I want to say inch and a half to two inches of interior space. So it's a big difference. It's a big difference when you're traveling. Comes in handy, I'm telling you. All right? So that's a really nice feature about pretty much all of the soft-sided luggage that we carry. But... They are all extremely light. Most of the luggage we carry has the four wheels. So it makes it extremely easy for you to move your luggage around. Okay. Very easy to move around. So you can, you can walk in a straight line. You can tilt back and walk with it this way if you want. Right? You can even shub. If you have two pieces of luggage, it's sometimes easier to just push and come out. As opposed to trying to pull down wheel. But guys, eh, these are... These are amazing, all right? You can get multiple sizes in the styles you like. Put this back here, put this back here. Oh, good, and there's a little small one right here. Again, this is the one, these are the sizes that they will allow you to take onto the aircraft, okay? Uh, telescoping handle, very light. The wheels are full rotation, inline skate style wheels with 360 motion. And it's, it, it also is a, a fashion statement. Now, one of the things I like about most of the bags that we carry is if you don't want to buy a lock or you're not comfortable traveling with a lock and add, add, add an addendum to that it has this little um, zipper lock on the side so people have asked me when they see it how do you use this so the default is triple zero okay and when the zips go around to that side all you have to do is insert like so like so and then you rotate so that it's now locked. The suitcase cannot be opened, okay? You just rotate these like that and your zips cannot be removed. Just like that, okay? Put it back to the default. You can't count, obviously, seven, eight, nine, zero, nine, zero. Boom, out come the zips. You can open your suitcase again. Awesome stuff. Now there are instructions inside each suitcase in how to, on how to change your code. Good. Now, I will add to that that if you're traveling to and from the United States, I won't recommend you lock your suitcase with that because if, they need to, if TSA needs to get into your bag, they will cut it open. All right? There are special locks you can buy in most airports that the TSA are approving that you can use on your suitcases. Good. So, we have colors to suit every need. I do recommend you get a, a color or a tag that you can put on your suitcase that you can easily identify. Luggage, especially in our case, Luggage looks alike, 
and you don't want to be picking up someone's bag for yours or picking up letting making someone else pick up your bag for theirs okay some things you can do is tie a ribbon tie something onto the edge of the bag that make you help you feel it's a unique identifier all right guys so like how we're going into 2020 we're in 2020 and it's a new year it's also a new academic year and there might be something on no, academic year i'm sorry it's the second term or second semester for most schools and institutions so maybe there's some stuff you didn't get to see you didn't get to grab a hold of and uh, we do have you covered with some of that stuff and i'm taking you to it right now stationary that's what we're doing we were saying guys, suppose you are going into your uh, school term or second school term, your kids are going back out, you're going back out, and there might be some stuff that didn't last through the Christmas season. So, or that Christmas vacation. So, here's a quick reminder of the stuff you might need, okay, that we do have for you. We have your craft glue, we have safety style scissors. Well, one type of safety style scissors. So, the, the safety scissors is that the, the edges are dulled by the plastic covering. There's another type of safety scissors, but it's really more for like heavy work. We don't carry that one, guys. You see, it bends away from you with the thing. We don't carry that. That's a, a different type of scissors. Good. Uh, tapes, uh, math sets or geometry sets with the protractor, the compass, the various sets of uh, rulers. All right. Pens, pens, pens. That's actually a very nice pen. Oh, it's a pencil. I thought that was a pen. That is a pencil. That's really cool. Continuous lead feed. Oh, continuous lead feed. That is brilliant. Various type of pencils with your favorite characters, like little pencil sets. That's a wallet. That's actually very nice. All right. Favorite characters. We have actually book covers. I, I forgot to mention this last time we did them. So for covering some of your textbooks, if you want to save something to make sure it lasts, that's a very big eraser. It's actually an eraser with a cover, but it's a very big eraser there. And uh, we just saw these, and I thought they're actually really cool. These are, oh, oh this comes right off, doesn't it? Lunch boxes that are in the shape of Lego bricks. Thought that was really cool, right? Uh, more crayons, pens, glue. I mentioned before markers, highlighters. We have the works. If you missed it, you can come and get that now. Talking about the newness of 2020 and enjoying your space and creating something a little different. Wall decor. Wall decor is an amazing, easy, very affordable way to add pomp, to add style, to add flair to a space, all right? So we do have a massive, massive selection of decorative picture frames. All right, let me give you some examples. We have these things that look like canvas prints. I mean, look at this thing, right? You can see paintbrush strokes. And if you're an animal lover or a bird lover, you have a bird lover in your life, you have a space that's like your zen space where you go for calm. These things are very nice. And then we have these. I actually quite like them. It is a, a very simplistic print, botanical print. This is really nice. I mean, it's simple, maybe on your patio, if you have an enclosed area on the patio or not even enclosed, because this is actually also weather quite well. And I like the wood frame around it. All right. These are very nice. Very, very nice. All right, so traditional things we've always had. We're going to have your gold rim, your wood and gold rimmed uh, picture frames with some, some floral decorants in it. That's actually very nice. We used to only have this in the frame print, but now we have it as a canvas print with no glass on it. And I like those. Personally, I prefer, this is just a personal thing, guys. I, I prefer the paintings and the artwork. I don't really have that glass in front of it. It makes me feel more connected to the piece of art that's on the wall. So this is another print which you could, it, it's, it's very tropical. And again, for those of you who are doing the whole guest house, Airbnb, whatever you wanna do, if you're on a, a coastal area, these are, or even if not, you wanna create that feel of being in a tropical environment and a calming place. These are gorgeous. And, and they're, they're quite sturdy and they hang easily. Very, very nice pieces. You guys should come and check them out, man. I'm telling you. All right, so coming down the line, we'll see some more floral prints. Now, I like this. It's like a mix of a Rembrandt style painting with the scroll, um, the right, the, 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 what do you call it? Oh God, script, the script writing on the back of it. So you give this very nice, polished, finished feel. And it has a very ornate, very stylized border frame. Very, very nice stuff. 
All right. Now, if scenery is more your thing, all right, this is an old favorite. As we get these, they're gone. All right. You get this. Um, this is like a Vienna River scene. I want to say that. Uh, a, a scene by a, a waterfront property, very Mediterranean in design and style. Yeah. We have a traditional beach scene with your um, your boats, uh, fishing boats on the on the water's edge. Very nice as well. Okay, so these are all of the paintings we have. We also have mirrors. There are tons of mirrors. It's hard to show you because there'll be reflections and light, but we have mirrors for over your door, mirrors for your wall, full-length mirrors, small mirrors. Mirrors are a great way to make a space seem bigger um, than it really is, make a, a space feel more open. Great way. And also great ways now they do this thing now where you like you, you stylize, you put mirrors up straight and some off like offset, and it's a great way to really set up a feel. I set up a room. Now, the last thing I want to take you guys to go and see before we end is bicycles. Because one of the things that may be a part of your New Year's resolution might be the whole getting fit thing. And if a bicycle is what you want to do, you and your whole family can enjoy it. So let's take a ride over to the bicycles. So here we are at the bicycles and the very nice AC unit that is actually it's very cooling right here. So bicycles, a great way for an entire family to get in shape, okay? If walking is hard for you, uh, you might need a bicycle as your mode of exercise. And some people don't like a whole stationary bike thing. Now we have bikes for all sizes. Uh, bicycles for kids of various ages and sizes. Uh, 20 inch bike, I know we have 30 inch bikes too. Stunt bike, we have 20 inch stunt bikes. 16 inch with S crank. There's actually a little thing in that's very cool. Uh, more children's bikes. I like the little children bike with the basket and the tassels. It's very retro. It's very cool. All right, and we do have bikes that come with the ever important training wheels. As my son said to me when I tried to get him on a bike without training wheels, he says, "Dad, it is missing wheels. There are only two wheels on that. There's supposed to be four. That that is short. Some wheels. Dad, go bring it back and come back again. I do recommend you get a helmet and get some some elbow pads and knee pads, especially for the kids. Uh, I, we do sell the helmets, so we can we can help you with the helmet." All right, so guys, that's been our show so far today. Thank you for being with me for this, this show. Welcome into the true discussion of products into 2020 from our bachelor locations. We looked at some great stuff today. We looked at the luggage. We looked at gift sets first, the bath gift sets that can make great gifts. Maybe you forgot to buy someone a gift for Christmas or Valentine's is coming up and you want to get it beforehand. We have the, the gift sets. We saw luggage. Uh, we saw stationery. Remember, you may have forgotten a few things. There may be some things missing from their, their backpack between Christmas and the new start of the school term. So come and get that stuff. Your geom geometry sets, math sets if you want, your pens, your pencils, your erasers. Those really cool Lego lunch boxes. That's actually really cool. We do also have insulated lunch bags and lunch boxes for your kids. And then we came and saw the wall art, the very, very nice wall art, the mirrors. We spoke about the fact that mirrors can help you expand the space. And wall art is a very, wall decor is a very cheap, efficient way to change the way a space feels. Yeah. And then we came over to look at the bicycles, which Again, great way to get in shape if that's one of your New Year's resolutions or just to become active or you want to get a gift for your kids to so just spend less time on the devices and spend some more time being active. These are great ways to do it. Yeah, so we have a lot coming in this year, guys. So keep watching us. Remember to follow us on all of our social media feeds, www.facebook.com slash B-A-S-H-C-O and at Basho to make on Instagram and Twitter and me at Omar Basho to see what we are doing. And now we're all about now. Uh, take away myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got this. I can do this. Whee! Bashko time! All the things that you need for Bashko. your home with prices so low, you will never need a loan at Bashko. Smell it at Bashko. Shopping. Appliances, house with furniture and rugs. Geese and linens and glass and mugs at Bashko. The east and the west, Bashko, them all over, they must be the west side, Bashko. Bashko.